So the conventional wisdom is that after 1949, after the establishment of the People's Republic of China, China ceased to be religious. But today, in 2019, if we still think about China as a-religious or even as atheistic, we are actually wrong. If you look at ritual activities such as ancestral rites and also activities such as burning incense in temples um, that belong to the Buddhist, Taoist or Confucian traditions, the percentage of people who do rituals regularly is very high. It's um, at least over 80%. But if you ask the question of identity, if they have any religious identity, we almost get the flip side of that answer. Uh, you will have at least 75% of the people say they're not members of any religion. When I'm in a major urban area such as Shanghai, I would follow the sacred sites. And I realize that the people who pray in this site often pray in other sites for other purposes. In Buddhist temples, um, for, say, fertility blessings, and they pray in Confucius temples for educational blessings, and Taoist temples for blessings in the new year, or good fortune in business affairs. And they don't have to say, now I'm putting, um, I'm, I'm disengaging my identity as a Buddhist, and now I'm becoming a Confucian to do these rituals. They don't have to do that. You do it naturally. You take it for granted. This makes sense to you on a practical as well as um, an emotional level. So you don't consciously make the code switching. You, we are allowed to live a life in which complexities like this can coexist. We do that in North America as well, especially in the younger generation. Many may have grown up with Christian rituals, but many have seeked out other religious traditions, and many of our um, students, many of the young people I've met or interviewed, feel equally comfortable in a church or in a, in a Zen Sangha. And that is also multi-ritualism. And there's no real contradiction. What I'm seeing in China today is how people are doing religion differently. And that is I think what we're seeing in the rest of the world as well. We may be seeing a decline in um, church attendance or membership in institutionalized religions, but we're not seeing a real decline in people's interest and engagement with the sacred. We are all becoming religious differently in the 21st century.